my gosh, I think this may be the biggest turnout for Dubbing 101 ever. <laughs> As Borat would say, very nice, very nice, very nice. <laughs> or if you say it just right, it kind of sounds like Van Nuys, the city that's next to me in California. It's like, I live in Van Nuys. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's start from the top, shall we? Who has been to this workshop before? <laughs> wow. oh, we got a bunch of newbies in here. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. Who doesn't know who the heck I am? Yay! I'm a complete stranger. <laughs> That is awesome! Okay, I usually break into a strong bad voice, and some people say, You do the voice of strong bad? I'm like, No, I wish. <laughs> However, I do do voices for a living. My name is Kyle Aver. I'm Kyle, and the way you remember my last name, it's Aver! <laughs> Yay! So, uh, yeah, the name looks like Hebert or Herbert, but trust me, it's Aver. Blame the Cajuns. Right. <laughs> I'm from Louisiana. I lived in Dallas all my life till two years ago because I want to do cartoon voices. And where do they do that? They do it in Los Angeles. So now I live in Los Angeles. I'm trying out for cartoons. Haven't made it yet. But I'm doing anime stuff. So I started out, I started out doing Dragon Ball Z, doing the narrator and Team Gohan. And then I did uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, Show, did Karasu in the Dark Tournament, and President Takai of the Student Council in Fruits Basket. And I got Kiba on Naruto. And recently I got Aizen and Ganju in Bleach. So life is good. You guys like those shows? or prefer it in Japanese. You can be honest, it's, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Uh, there, there is such a thing, and I'm the first to admit, there are bad dubs. Now, most of them are, you know, 10 years old or older. Back when they got, you know, Joe in the, in the tech department to come out, we need a guy to, uh, you'll do. Come on, Rich. <laughs> okay, scream. we got to really feel the pain. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Okay. okay, and we're done. And see. Yeah. Um, then they started hiring actors and started caring about the actual quality product because there are a lot of hardcore, you know, subtitle fans who prefer it in Japanese, and that's fine. Rock on with your bad selves. There's no need for this dub sub war. Okay, that's 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 the only uh, preaching I'm going to do today. It's like watch whatever version you prefer, and just don't give the other side grief about it. You know, just be happy that the stories are getting out there and reaching the audience. If you were the originator of that show or the manga. You'd be thrilled that a worldwide market is watching and enjoying your show. So just kind of think of it from that perspective. Now, who here understands or knows about the dubbing process, what we do in the actual booth? You sort of know? So if I say, you know, we use the beep system, you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay, for those who said no, the beep system is three syncopated beeps. It's basically giving you a time, kind of like a metronome, if you're a musician, you know, to give you the sense of rhythm. So, you would hear three beeps in your headphones when you're sitting there in the recording booth. They cue up the scene exactly to the moment, and then it'll go beep, 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 and you do the line. Exactly where the fourth beep would be, but there's no fourth beep. <laughs> so, we're doing that lovely little juggling act of acting, doing a character voice, Listening for the beeps, taking direction. <laughs> it's a bit harder than it seems. As today will hopefully prove. I mean, demonstrate. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. The goal of this workshop is to A, have fun, laugh, and enjoy ourselves, and learn a little bit something about the process. This is obviously very stripped down and basic version, because number one, we're not recording the takes. This is just a timing exercise, but it is basically kind of what we do in the booth. So what you're going to do is what we actors do. You'll see the script for the very first time. You'll see the footage for the very first time. And then you got to make magic out of it. Are you going to get it on the first take? No. Are you expected to? No. 
Doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. I've been doing it for seven years, and you know, it, it's just kind of built into the session that we're going to mess up. Sometimes it'll take five takes, six takes. Sometimes we do nail it in one take if it's like a one word or two words, you know, something like that. But if it's some like soliloquy with awkward pauses and everything, it, yeah, yeah, it, it gets a little rough. Now we have lines of varying degrees of difficulty. We've got some easy ones, and maybe you guys will be able to peg it in one take. We've got some others that are much longer, and probably you won't, but that's okay. There's something that, since we're not recording it, we won't be able to do today, but the kind of what's called funimating or <laughs> Frankenstein, where you cut and paste different parts of takes together and manufacture. If the line's too long and it's too difficult for the actor to just do it all in one take, they'll do the take, they'll do the line as far as they can, stop, and then they'll use the Pro Tools software to back it up and kind of, you know, and then they can mix and match and move things around, compress it or extend it. You don't want to do too much of that, though, because it sounds robotic and fake. Like you guys hear at the car commercials where they have that legal stuff at the end. And yeah. <laughs> Who the hell talks that fast? That FedEx guy, I don't know what he's doing anymore, but I don't think anyone talks that fast. <laughs> so that's a little uh, probably inside thing that the person reads it as fast as humanly possible and then they'll just scrunch it in Pro Tools and it'll scrunch it without pitching it up so they don't sound like a chipmunk. So, anyway. I'd like to introduce my friend Maria Vu. She actually is a voice actress for Funimation. Stand up, Maria. <laughs> and uh, Maria was kind enough because I don't know how to do all this stuff. I said, Maria, can you uh, help me find some just random anime clips? Maria, can you write some clips for me? Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just pull okay, some sorry, clips. My fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, that's not. So, so she would give me clips, and sometimes she would write the scripts for them, which were totally just crazy, but they fit the mouth flaps, and that's the whole point of this. So this is not about literal translation, being faithful to the original, this is all about having fun. So we've crafted script lines that do fit the flaps, and some of the times, depending on how fast you guys read it, we'll have to alternate it, and that's where improv, improvisation, is a good skill to have as an actor, because on the fly, you may be asked to rewrite the line or alter your performance. Now, sometimes the director may go with a completely different way, and you thought, okay, that was the one I would have used. And he's like, give me another one. Flatter. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I wanted to chew the scenery. <laughs> now, you don't really have the time. Again, because of the mouth flaps, you've got three seconds to get out 15 words. Good luck. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. Anyway, any questions about the dubbing process? We all kind of understand now. Beeps. Beep. Line, right? So we've got various clips here. I've got the strips in front of me, and uh, yeah, I'm going to hand the mic off to the volunteer, and uh, we'll watch the clip first. There's nothing on the clip except for some ambient sound effects and maybe background music and the beeps, and that's it. So we'll study it once, like we do when we first get in the booth, and then. We'll go ahead and play the clip again, listen for the beeps, start the line, see if you can match it. And then we'll do the big audience critique. Now I understand, normally, you know, obviously we record one person at a time. In the booth, we don't have a hundred people staring at us. So I understand if you're shy or embarrassed, I'm just, just gonna try and put it out there. It's like, you don't need to be, we just wanna have fun today. So don't worry, this is not an audition. This is, I, I can't get you work, I'm not a director. We're just having fun today. So, with that in mind, who would like to, oh, wow. He's <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay you, you were first, so I was like, I saw his hand go up. He, like, he read my mind, we're gonna let him go. Okay, 